How's it going, YouTube? Happy Friday, but I tell you what, things have gone screwball. Now, for most of you truck drivers out there, at some point in your career, especially us OTR guys, you've had to deal with leopard fees. I've had to pay up a few of them myself that get reimbursed later, which is just super fun to deal with, but whatever. Typically, um, I get a relay code from the broker. That's usually how it works. It's how it's supposed to work. But honestly, lumber fees should not even be a thing right now unless you're doing a specialty unload that requires, you know, specialized equipment or laborers or you're unloading at another place because you need to transload the freight because of, you know, the freight is damaged or there's been a spill or the equipment is damaged somehow or the, something's gone wrong and you gotta get it off the trailer and then go from there. All right, so my delivery this morning had an absurd lumber fee. It was $600 to unload 37 skids of pet food. $600 to unload 39,000 pounds of pet food. Now, I know full well this wasn't diamond-plated, you know, super triple refined, ultra vegan, special, fancy, green, quinoa infused from, you know, the holy divine fountain of the Buddha under the waterfall in Tibet. No, this is just run-of-the-mill pet food. I also know good and well they weren't using a diamond-plated skid loader to get this freight off the trailer in the first place. They weren't paying for, you know, some anti-gram assist, ultra green, you know, super high futuristic, whatever, new technology, new fangled, whatever nonsense kind of forklift to get this stuff off the trailer. No, just a general run-of-the-mill forklift. Maybe it was battery powered, maybe it was probably CNG, I don't know, I don't care. Or, you know, propane or whatever the heck. $600 for 39,000 pounds, it's like that. That lumper fee was almost, not quite, but almost as much as the rate I was paid just to haul the freight. Absolutely absurd. Quite frankly, I think it's well past time that we had some kind of legislative action to prevent lumper fees from being assessed to brokers or carriers the unload fee should be handled by the entity doing the receiving and paid for somehow, some way between the order being placed and the shipper fulfilling the order. Brokers and carriers should never have to deal with unload fees, except of course when it's a special situation damaged equipment, damaged freight with, you know, you gotta have a cleanup service or whatever. You gotta transload it for whatever reason at an unusual location or a location that's not part of the chain between the shipper and the receiver or whatever the case may be. Other than that, if it's a generic unload, bumper fees should never apply. But that's my take. And of course, because I think it's right, clearly it's the wrong way of thinking entirely. So it is what it is. Anyway, that's my gripe for this morning. Thank you so much for listening. Bellyache YouTube, I do appreciate it, and I will see you down the road.